Oh, man, I hate Mondays. Nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 what day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Bruce Day Tuesday. Oh, fuck yeah! It's time for Bruce Day Tuesday. Brought to you by the Cellar and Six Pack Store. Here is Dresden Huck. Wait for me. Eyes ahead. I'm the wiener. Bruce Day Tuesday brought to you by the Southern Restaurant and Six Pack Store in downtown Blacksburg. Our special Thanksgiving edition, a couple days early, like every year. Well, but we're, uh, we're not working on Thanksgiving. We're eating. Yeah. We're, we're, as, and apparently we're eating again today. Yeah, I guess we're doing a little bit of both. So uh, I know that we're drinking special beers to go with our special food. We'll dive into all of that above uh, shortly. But first things first, what uh, what did you pop over there? Well, what I have is a spiced cranberry ghost. Ghost, huh? From Ardent Brewing out of Richmond, Virginia. It's at 4.5. It has cranberry, tangerine, and cinnamon. Slightly sour. We do like Ardent. Um, now, over here, uh, similar line. I have a cranberry gosa. This one from our other friends in Virginia. You stuck with the Virginia beers. I like it. Ballad Brewing out of? I don't remember. Isn't it Danville? Yeah, Danville. 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 I've been there. Danville. Danville. Ballard. They've been coming up with some good stuff lately. So we opted for, uh, it's less that we opted for Gosas and more so I guess we wanted that cranberry in there because it is Thanksgiving week and uh, I know that that is one thing that is a staple on the Thanksgiving table, although it's not really something I usually go for, the cranberry sauce. Oh, I, I do, I do. I and sometimes do we make, I think we talked about this before, we make cranberry margaritas while we're cooking in the morning. That's a good way to get your cooking done right. I thought that that was for Christmas. Well, both. Yeah, a little bit of both. Yeah. So, and then we uh, also this is going to be somewhat of a nan and a boo boo show, it, not because it of the is, beer, but yeah, it's usually. But this time it's a nan and a boo boo only for today because you can actually get what we brought for lunch. Mm. And so let me show you here. Oh, uh, this is a hold up to the camera. I'm holding it up. Okay, <clears throat> I have to. If I, you're watching on Facebook or YouTube or whatever, you'll be able to see this glorious. This is the Merc Vember. Mercantile from the Draper Mercantile and Trading Company. And Candy down there hooked us up with these sandwiches that are amazing. Well, they, you they said, are, have you already tried it? No, but I'm going to. And it says, I'm, you try it, I'll read. It says it's it's grilled turkey, melted provolone, house-made cranberry aloe, topped with our home-style stuffing, grilled, and then served with fries. And I already had the fries, and they were just Quite as yummy as you can imagine. You might just have to talk the whole show. Looks like Drez is, is face down in the sandwich at this point. Anyway, go to Draper Mercantile, and they're super nice there. It's, it's a coffee shop, too, and all kind of smoothies, all kind of baked goods. The napkins are somewhere. Did they bring us napkins? Yeah, there they are. Let me show you a bone. Oh, there all you right. go. Had to throw them a napkin. I'm going to take a bite now, so you got to finish no, chewing. I do love the Draper Mercantile. Um, the food is always just amazing. I mean, I know that this is something special, I guess, they do for Thanksgiving, but anytime you get out there, you're going to enjoy the food. And, um, well, she said it's her best selling sandwich ever. Well, no I wonder, can see why. No wonder why. And honestly, the fries, the fries are amazing. Did you show the fries off in there? Mm, I held them up. Mm. They're like, that really doesn't do it justice because you can't see the seasoning and stuff. Well, you move your camera and show them. I got to hide all the ketchup packets. You get rid of ketchup. You see that? Mm. Yeah, look at that. Okay. This sandwich is amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. It's, but the problem is, is it's not the best radio, scarfing down food. So we can we can take turns, though. I can delve into what I'm doing for Thanksgiving while you're scarfing that down, and then we can uh, flip-flop the rolls. So per usual, since it is a well, – what year is this? Even, odd year, I guess, year. is when we do it. Um, what with Virginia Tech playing UVA in Charlottesville. So we are now going to be having our – Thanksgiving in Charlottesville, because I have aunt and uncle that are up that are up that way, and uh, we figured out that this works this is good since my grandma sold her house. We usually go there for Thanksgiving, right. but um, since then, it's just been you know if the game is in Blacksburg, we have Thanksgiving here, and if the game's in Charlottesville, we have Thanksgiving there. So this is a uh, uh, a Thanksgiving and Chris and Charlottesville uh, effort, and this will actually be the first family gathering we've officially had since COVID. So it's going to be awesome getting everybody together. I'm sure I'll see some cousins and stuff that I haven't seen since the pandemic. 
started. Wow. So um, that's awesome. Yeah, it'll be really fun. Uh, we usually do. We're gonna do the the turkey trot. Oh, yeah? Out there in Charlottesville. I know they started one here in Blacksburg. We did that first one, but every other year we got to rotate, I guess. There we go. And uh, so, yeah, it's a, it's the usual 5K, but, man, that course is so damn hilly. Is it? It's going to be it's gonna be rough. And yeah, Charlottesville check- is a hilly city. Yeah, it's pre- it's got some hills. And then we'll do a little backyard football, and then we uh, then we start just stuffing our face. Well, we traditionally get my, go down to my brother-in-law's, like, they're early in, like, this time of week. Before Thanksgiving, then come back and we'll like go to my daughter's house and my son's house and so on. But this year, since we're kind of settled in Pembroke, we just invite everybody over. You're doing the whole, the bring normal big par- host. Yep, bring them all in. Everybody's coming over. We're going to have a big old Thanksgiving dinner. Mm-hmm. I bought two turkeys, got all kinds of fixings. And, but if you, you know, traditionally we order out, we would order, you know, turkey to go. And if you want to do that, the Drape and Mercantile has mm-hmm. a. Turkey to go, Thanksgiving dinners to go. And oh, that, like full on dinners, not yeah, just this little. The whole sandwich. thing, and you can even get an individual dinner, fourteen ninety five. Four to six people for one hundred and twenty. Ten to twelve for one hundred and eighty. Now, it says on here orders must be placed by Sunday, but I have it on good information. There's some left, so oh. you still have all the rest of tonight and tomorrow. Give Candy a call over there, see if she's got any left, because she had said she had several left. She was, you know. Hoping to sell out, so she hasn't yet. See, that's good because, like, I mean, obviously I'm lucky I still have, you know, I can go to my moms and my aunts and uncles, and they take care of all that crap for me. But when it comes down to the point where if we move somewhere that we don't have that luxury, I'm not about to tackle trying to prepare a whole turkey and all that crap. You know, it's just it's such a daunting task. And if you can just find a place that can hook you up with the turkey and all that I'm the telling fixings, you, especially, you know, elderly people like myself, it's, if it was just me and Liz, we'd probably just get two individual dinners and go with it. Mm-hmm. And, um, you yeah, know, it's just good to have somebody fix it for you. And if they're judging from the turkey and the sandwich and the dressing, yeah. that's going to be delicious. Yeah, I'm, I mean, whoever gets that is going to be happy they had it. You might notice I'm focusing on the fries yeah. more so than the sandwich. Just because that's easier, less messy. And I figure the sandwich, it can, it can probably hold up better later. Right. Fries, fries, you know, they don't keep that well. So no, they're not keeping I think I'm going to have to eat all the fries, probably even during this segment. No, I'm just kidding. I did pick this up on my way in, so it's not too it's not too old. But, you know, it's a cold day today. So. Well, and the thing is, it was so warm. I noticed when you handed me the box, it was still warm. Yep. But uh, it was so warm that it's also created some condensation in there. So I yep. feel like I do need to eat the fries before they get... Softens them up. Before they turn, yeah. But uh, I tell you what, man, yeah, the food is delicious. But let's get back to the beer. So... um. Ghost is not really our style usually. No. But I guess you're not really going to get short of maybe some Christmas ales and stuff that will have some cranberry. But usually, you know, the cranberries in most beers, they're few and far between. Right. I haven't seen a lot of cranberry beer. So I went and shopping for stuff and then had to find something to go with turkey and dressing. I didn't I thought I'd, I brought all the beer back for my trip, which we can talk about another time. I'm sure we're going to do a, a beer now show with but, some um, of that stuff. I didn't have anything Thanksgiving. I tried to get a Shiner box. I'm still trying to get it, so I may get that later. That's got some Thanksgiving style beers in it, Christmas beers. So we might get to try those at some point. Um, I am trying to locate some, but this cranberry ghost is just delicious. It's really hitting the spot, man. Like I said, I'm, I'm not usually a ghost guy, but <clears throat> it's going maybe, right with the maybe, sandwich. Yeah, maybe I just really needed something to wash the food down, and it's it's working pretty yeah, damn I mean, good. It, it's light. It's crispy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you want you want to go ahead and untap it? That's, yeah. That's what we like to do on this show. We drink beer. We untap them with the free beer app you can download to your mobile device. Huck's Beer Buzz is his handle. Dress Drinks is mine. It's, and you uh, can rate your beer with what you think. I'm, I'm giving this guy four and a half. You know. That good? Yeah. I mean, What was really, the ABV on that again? Four and a half. Four, all right. Same. Well, maybe I'll go along that vein, although this one's closer to four, so maybe I'll give it a four. Oh, no, it's 4.2, so 4.25. How about that? For the ghost of cranberry from Ballard, but yeah, it's it's nice and crisp. It's definitely got the cranberry in there, which is obviously what we were looking for, and I would imagine what you would be looking for if you're looking for a cranberry beer. So, not yeah, too so shabby. Arden's one of those craft breweries in Richmond down there in the Scott Edition. They know and what they're doing. They make great beer. Mm-hmm. They had a tequila barrel aged beer that was amazing last time I was up there. Probably been about two years. I need to make another trip up to Richmond. Yeah, it's probably been. A, at least what? No, I'm trying. With COVID, you kind of lose track of time. Like when? All right. Like we took a year off. It's been a year and a half now. 
Yeah. So yeah, it's definitely probably been at least two years since I've been up there to Arden. But but yeah, Scott's Edition has got a number of good breweries. Oh man, there. yeah, the Vale. Yeah, a bunch of them. Yeah, there is. It is good. Um, speaking of good, we could play a tune. Thanksgiving. Figure Adam Sandler throw the little Thanksgiving oh, yeah, song there on go. there. Yeah. And then um, we'll come back. We'll um, we'll sc- scarf down this as much as we can during the song. Finish these beers, and then Draper Mercantile not only has some good uh, entrees for Thanksgiving, but the dessert plethora that you brought. Uh, she hooked us up with like a dessert tray, a little platter. So we'll we'll have to delve into that too here shortly. It's Brews Day Tuesday, Thanksgiving edition, right here on one hundred five point three. The Bear, stick around. <laughs> 